It's a story you will only see on 8 News Now. Employees of a beloved Henderson restaurant saying they haven't been paid and they've been threatened and intimidated by the owner. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer joining us in studio with a special report after combing through nearly 100 pages of documents. The restaurant is Bella Vida in Henderson. I also interviewed the owner looking to understand how a dining spot so popular suddenly shut down. 5 at 11. This is First of all, I don't blame anybody. I blame the guy who will look on the mirror every day, which is me, right? So I show you the number and I hope you guys are going to show this because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Sergio Montegrande answering the question why his Henderson Italian fine dining restaurant closed then declared bankruptcy despite making $3 million just a year before. Four of several employees who reached out to us telling us Sergio's not telling the whole story about why Bella Vita closed, saying well over 20 employees still have not been paid. There's stuff that needs to be had for your actions. He's hurt a lot of people. Dan, a lot of damage. Since 2015, Bella Vita was the go-to spot for local politicians, celebrities, and candidates for office. It was the funnest and most exciting restaurant you could probably work at. I mean, they had like so many people, all the politicians, everyone went there. Vinny Mattiello, a former waiter, remembers the better times of the restaurant before things began to take a turn for the worse. We kind of hoped it was going to get better. It just didn't. Starting in 2023, the restaurant started a quick expansion, opening two additional locations, one on Blue Diamond, another at Boca Park. That's when employees say the paychecks started to bounce. According to the Nevada Labor Board Commission, 19 employees filed wage complaints saying they weren't being paid for months. One employee alleging bounced paychecks from Bella Vida caused his Wells Fargo bank account to freeze. Montegrande said although he has settled four of the 19 cases, the number of unpaid employees is higher following his bankruptcy. It should be now more than 19. It should be more than 19. Because we were like a 40 people at the district. And not getting paid, for instance, before Christmas, the Friday before Christmas, was, was really devastating. Leah Koberger, a former bartender sitting alongside other employees, alleges Sergio was keeping money from employees. And I told my husband, you know he's sitting there with his wife and their kids are opening up their Christmas presents on Christmas morning. And it just didn't happen for me. Montegrande said he had tough choices to make due to an increase in costs in 2023. If you don't pay the rent, they're all going to lose their job. What you said is yes. You said that I had a tough decision to make. Right. However, he said due to his disputes with Koberger, he would never pay her. I'd rather have a three root canal and learn Chinese before I give her the money. Three food vendors sued Bella Vida, alleging they were not being paid as well, stopping all food deliveries for seafood, produce, and Italian products. Employees telling us tensions began to grow as staff quit, causing the owner Sergio to allegedly intimidate them for asking for paychecks. Text show Sergio allegedly threatened to go to an employee's home. The employee telling the restaurant owner they'd call the police. Sergio replying in regards to the police, quote, you're going to call my friend. Sergio not denying in the text but saying he knows better than to say that. Obviously I know more police than he does but remember one thing when you call the police there is 4,000 police. Do you think that the guy who's gonna come there know you? I'm nobody man. In another after texting that he went to an employee's home Sergio texting I am from Sicily we don't F around. He didn't even open the door. Montegrande agreeing he texted it but saying he never followed through. No I did t I did tell you I did tell you with them. I'm, I'm, I'm outside your house, open the door. But hey, man, in my grandmother's grave, I didn't even know where he lived. And lastly, in a text with an employee in his 20s, Sergio texted to meet him in a nearby parking lot to settle their issues one on one. Behind a store with no one around, Esslinger shocked when he saw what was happening in the back of the restaurant. This is a 20 year old kid. Sergio is a grown man. This is just a tactic that he would use to. Uh, try to get you to bow down to him. He would puff his chest out. We asked Sergio to respond to his text about challenging a 20 year old to meet him at night. He said, although it's taken out of context, he shouldn't have sent it. Did I made a mistake that I sent this? Let's meet at the parking lot. Yeah. At the start of this year, employees from several locations started to gather to protest the work conditions and lack of pay from Bella Vida.
Ultimately, Bellavita filing for bankruptcy in March, leaving behind 53 creditors. Montegrande said he wants to pay the remaining employees, but says he can't because his account is frozen. However, the request for payment go back a year before the accounts were frozen. We never had a complaint in nine years. Never. You know, that's, that's pretty good, man. We just, uh, the economy went to bed in 2023. And, uh, but I take the responsibility for that. All three locations closed in the past three months, including the original Henderson location. Now, as you heard, Sergio Montegrande said over 40 employees still have not been paid. Three food vendors are also suing for their payment, and a total of 53 creditors are also seeking money from the company, all following its bankruptcy of what was a beloved restaurant. Brian? James, thank you. Now, following a two-hour interview with Montegrande, a spokesperson for the former restaurant owner released a statement saying in part, I want to take this moment to offer an apology to anyone I have disappointed or hurt in any way. I acknowledge and accept full responsibility for my actions. Continuing, I humbly ask for your patience and forgiveness moving forward. A full story of Bella Vita's closing is available for you to read on 8newsnow.com.